security. And we're in Rome. This is our first night. I just got in on an aeroplane. How long have you been here? I've been here seven hours. And what have you done? Not much. Dude, this is the thing, guys. We have a motorcycle. Yeah. And anytime you're in a country, mm -hmm. yeah, me and Ben Rudy actually have done this before in Asia. This is our first time having motorbikes in Europe. We're doing Europe big, though. We yeah. gotta get big. And, and I'm not even kidding. You have to get on a motorcycle, especially if you're our age, you know, younger, and you know, you want a little bit of a thrill because you can walk around and see the sights, but it's more or less sightseeing. Just like watching it on TV, you know, it's sick to be here, but when you're on a motorcycle, it's that extra thrill of death, pretty much. But disclaimer, if you're uncoordinated, it's not our fault if you fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not our fault. <laughs> Obviously, you have to obey the traffic laws exactly. and be balanced, you know what I mean? So, uh, but do what you can. Get on a motorcycle. We're going to show you Rome. <laughs> It's about seven o'clock. We're gonna get on these little motos and go down towards Naples because my cousin is actually stationed with the US Navy in Naples and it's obviously a beautiful place. So we're gonna get some pizza. I've heard that it's the birthplace of pizza and ice cream. Is that true? Comment below. But we're gonna go down there and get some pizza and gelato, see my cousin, maybe even go to Postiano, which is the Amalfi Coast. So I'll show you our Airbnb. Chris is sleeping. Gotta wake this man up and get going. Uh, this is the Connor Sullivan tour of Italy. Welcome to the channel. If you want to see more, check back, but please subscribe because this is basically Nat Geo, but you know, college budget, a little bit rougher around the edges type. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Clear water. This is Italy in the summer, man, right on the cliffs. Beruti, Beruti, Beruti. Yeah, we took these little 100 cc's all the way from Rome. That's a bold move, but we got to do it because we are not from here and we got to see southern Italy. Still haven't eaten though. We're looking for a nice pizza place. Got any recommendations? What do you want? I'm looking for a big old fat pizza. I'm looking for some cheese and bread. Oh. Cheese, bread, and gelato. <laughs> Kill a Cali hustler, get it by all means. The people know whatever they need, they could call me. California hustling, moving and we muscling. And we don't put the pigs like a muslin. For the green, we rushing. No, not my style. I'm talking quick, fast, in a hurry. Between me and you, save your money and then travel. How do you do that? Don't drink alcohol for 20 weeks straight and then sell your Xbox. Pit stop number two. When we saw this, we had to stop. This is a little, a little deck on a hotel, actually, on the top of a hotel. So below us is a hotel that overlooks this coast. And I'm pretty sure Amalfi is actually around the corner. So we have a little bit more to go. Like the actual Positiano. Well, this is the Amalfi Coast, and then the main area where we want to go drone is a little further. We, we, dude, maybe we should launch a drone from there. I live in Germany. This is my off day. I literally flew from Germany to meet Chris, you, here. And, and look what we see. Look what we see. Yachts and stuff. Boats and bros, you know what I'm saying? CPT 
TLBC, yeah, we hooking back up. And when they bang this in the club, baby, you got to get up. My family and friends on YouTube, you guys have already been watching the video, so I don't need to introduce this again, but I'm at the same exact pizza place that I was at before. Woo! Thank you. It's good. Oh, that looks amazing. Grazie, grazie. Look at that classico. Oh, do you know a good restaurant when the menu is not written in English because you know it's not for tourists? So just look for an Italian restaurant, everything in Italian. And it should have a guy singing Italian music as well. This is real Naples right here. This pizza is stuffed on the inside with three cheeses, I think, and meat on the inside. Look at this. I'm touching with my hands. Look at all that. Mm-hmm. Let me show you how to do it. Cut a little piece, get all that cheese out. Put on your fork, dip it around in the, the vinegar. First time? My first spot on Italy. Ooh they got every flavor. Look at that dark, dark chocolate. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that yacht being built. Look at that water. Look at that castle. Boom, baby, let go. This is what we got going on. Bay Rudy, ice cream. Ice cream, which is gelato. Let's go. Ocean view. Mount Vesuvius. Right there. Boom. Naples, Italy for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a first timer. Connor versus me. Who's hands? Oh, he's what back. Up? He's, he's back. back. Um, Unexperienced traveler. I didn't get the cup, and the cup's the move, and now I got messy hands. And then you didn't, you didn't get any fruit, bro. You didn't get any fruit. He got all that milk up there. You gotta get fruit. I have a lot to learn still in Italy. Yeah. All right, man, we're heading out here. Mount Vesuvius right here. And then down around is the Amalfi Coast. We need to join this party behind us. Everybody has Speedos on. And it's definitely hot enough to get out there. I do have a bathing suit, so we might have to do it later. Look at these people on the, on the rocks over here. We made it, Amalfi Coast. Every couple of miles, they'll have one of these little shops that sell lemonade, bunch of fruit. Ooh. Is that a lemon? It's as big as his head. Melagrane. Melagrane. This is roadside lemonade, Amalfi Coast. Quenches the thirst, dude. Here, try some. That's the code of the street mentality. One minute you on top and the next you a casualty. It's gonna grab a hold on you if you let it. California, California hustler. California hustler. See, I live through the fear, shed a lot of tears. There's a reason why my friend died here for the hustle. For the California hustle. So get your hustle on the calendar. It's a brand new kind of thinking in your mind. And you can't go wrong because you're grooving. Look at that. Look at that blue water. Every five feet, man, there's legit another place to stop and look. These people have their yachts. Some people are on the beach. And I'm on a motorbike way above. Chilling. All right, what's the what's the news? Check out these mega yachts. See that slide running off of it? Dang, man. Postiano's right there. And these roads we've been taking. Before people notice. Hey, you guys want to know a nice place to have a wedding? Positano, Italy. Wrong person. Hear that bell? Right on the water, sunset, boats, and all. <laughs> and somebody owns this. And they're having a nice dinner on the sunset. Cliffs, perfect man. People are bringing their yachts out here and everything. Recommended, for sure. If you have a big enough yacht, you can also bring your slide out. Or just cruise around. We gotta get on someone's boat. Now we're on the beach, finally made it. In the pebbles. They don't got the waves like we have in California, but it's all right, man. You like the smooth sailing for the yachts. And then like we saw before, people eating dinner, people getting married. It's a beautiful place, the south of Italy.
Baby Rudy had a good point. When you do what you love, it will happen. Like things fall in line. You meet the right people that are also doing what they love and like it's similar. So like you meet people that you'll collaborate with, you meet your wife, you meet your friends for like for life, doing what you love. So always do what you love. Yo! Baby Rudy and I are taking an alternate route up. A lady down there was nice enough to share share with us. But our bike is up there. The colors get better at night too. Look at this. That's a church. That's a Bay Rudy. And this is a boom baby let's go! I'm saying I'm gonna make a whole video of me around the world just saying boom baby, boom baby, boom baby, let's go! Look at this. Wow. That's a sweet door. Imagine walking out that every day. You look there, then you look to the right, and there's the ocean. What a nice hotel. We have finally emerged outside of a nice restaurant on the opposite side. But it's okay, because we have a nice walk to, to take. I feel like I'm in Disneyland. Come on, baby. That's cool. Look at this. <laughs> Seriously, guys, if you guys want a good dining experience, right there. Check out that blue sky behind us. Ooh. Sun's not fully set, so it puts out that nice blue. Closing time, huh? Ooh. Party music. Another Napoli's local spot right here, Siatolo. They have donuts. And they have basically bread with meat and a bunch of stuff on it. I'll, I'll go show you it. All right, I'm gonna buy one for me. And me. Yeah, fries, hot dogs. Take that. What is this? The one that I thought looked Whoa, the weirdest. That, yeah, yeah. Because they had they had a lot of good stuff that I haven't had. But this one looked the weirdest, so I had to get it. Here we go. Oh. I'm just gonna take a whole bite, bro. It's warm too. It legitimately is pizza with Nutella spread. Is it all in my face? Yeah, it's all over your face. This is dang good. This is another lo local experience. Yeah. Bro, you don't get this every day. That's another good thing about the bikes. Another good thing about going like nitty gritty, Airbnb like in the middle of nowhere because you get the local local. You don't get the McDonald's and stuff like that. You get the Siotolo. That's what we get. Look at this little town we stumbled upon. Cross a bridge, up in the hills, and then wine country and the and the ocean are way out there. Welcome, my friends, to Roma. Beirut, chilling. Perfect place to check out the Vatican. How's it been so far, man? So good. Such a good spot. Oh, I know. Congratulations, my friends. You have made it to the end of the video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe. If you want to, follow me on social media. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and a great life. I'm not gonna be able to meet all of you guys, but if I could tell you one thing that is the most important thing that I have ever found in my life, it's this. And I talk about it on my other channel. You can check it out in the description. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that God had a son that died for us. I believe that living according to the laws of the Bible is the best 
you could possibly do and this is where my joy and energy and faith and hope and peace and love come from. Absolutely without question and I'm trying to share these values with the world. The only reason that I have this is because I found Jesus Christ a few years ago. I started living according to how he said pretty much in the Bible and my life has changed dramatically from one of fear and doubt and worry. I obviously still get these things now, you know, like normal. But now I am filled with so much passion and purpose that it's unbelievable and I want to share that with you guys too. Link in description for my other channel. I'm not a preacher or anything. I'm just a normal dude like you. Uh, but if you need some encouragement, I would encourage you to check out the channel. That's it. End of the video. Y'all have one life. Remember to go for it. It's crazy. You are living right now. One day you won't be. So I would consider things before you don't have breath anymore. That's it. I'm talking too long. It's the end of the video. If you want to see more, just subscribe. Peace, yo!